With today's digital technology, the collection and analysis of data play a huge part in Supercross racing. The teams are now able to analyze just about any function on the bike, as well as the line choices the riders are making on the racetrack. The rider may say, I'm uncomfortable and I don't know why I can't go any faster, but I cannot go any faster. And then we're responsible for understanding what their comments mean. And the way that we translate that is by the data. The GPS is under the number plate. Then we have a speed sensor on the bike, gyros to measure angular movement of the chassis itself. The suspension sensors, one's on the forks and one is on the shock. From that, we can understand what swing arm movement is at the wheel or the swing arm itself. Accelerometers basically measure the force of gravity in a three-dimensional manner. We use one on the front, one on the back, and the reason we do that is we're trying to quantify the shock and the fork separately so we can make adjustments to those pieces. The brains of the bike provide us with some data, which are the engine parameters, you know, engine RPM, throttle, gear position, you know, temperatures, and then we have data from the rider. Which corner was the worst place for you and where you were most uncomfortable or you felt like they were pulling away or whatever. And we then try and understand where our bike is in that position. You know, what's going on? I think we're using the video more to understand why he's slower or faster in this certain place. Our competitor goes inside and we can't go inside there because I, I, don't, I can't get the bike to go inside. Okay, why can't we get the bike to go inside? Okay, the forks are too extended and they're not uh, set in far enough so the bike won't turn. Or the forks are too far in and it's bottoming out and, and he's just uncomfortable doing it. Once we decide, okay, you need to go to this line or that line, we can use the data to help us make it as good as possible in the fastest line.